Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> now, what's unique about his story is, is his friend who comes to visit him. It's Jacob Marley. As I look out over the audience, many of us are Jacob Marley. Why? Because when Jacob Marley appeared to Scrooge, he was covered in chains, chains of captivity. We present ourselves every day, our outside appearance, because you know we look good, we put on the right makeup, right clothes, but our inner spirit is crippled by self-condemnation and of course by Satan. But I have a simple remedy for you. That remedy is Jesus Christ, our bondage breaker, which is the title of my message. Amen. Today's scripture will come from Mark, I'm sorry, Luke 4, 18. And it's simply right after Jesus was tempted in the will in the garden he goes and does his ministry what he came here to do jesus came to set the captives free who are the captives the sinner how did he set us free through his precious blood yeah. let me explain this bloodshed that he did for us see isaiah 53 and 5 says he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities what does that really mean his stripes that he bore not a simple cut he was mangled he was taken to the cross. He was nailed to the cross. And as he was nailed to the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So what did he do for us on that cross, those who are the Jacob Marleys that I speak of? He broke the chains of addiction. He broke the chains of depression. He broke the chains of hatred. He broke the chains of anguish. Anything that goes against the word of God, he broke those chains for us. So how do you, as a Jacob Marley, get delivered on today? I'm going to let you know how. His word says if you know the truth, then the truth will make you free. What is the truth? The truth is the word of God. And when you know the word of God, can't no devil in hell hold you in bondage. Because you have the ability to speak to the mountain. Matthew 11, 24 tells us, for verily I say unto you, if you speak to that mountain, it will be removed. How will it be removed? If you believe what the word of God says in your life. I'm a living witness of that mountain. I battled depression throughout my 20s, but I learned the word of God. I applied it to my life, and I'm able to break that chain of bondage because Satan has no control over me. And I leave you right now, once again, to reiterate the purpose of Jesus. He came to set the captive free. How can you be in free? When you surrender to his will for your life, then you will be free indeed. Let the church say amen. amen.